wouldn't record any of my footage, so we're going to use this sex toy advert instead. I'm sure you won't mind. On a similar note, related to this video, I must tell you that I once used a Gundam robot as a sex toy. Yes, but that's a story for another time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, and this is my review for Gundam Breaker 3, which released for the PlayStation 4 at some point in the past. And in this game, we basically have the opportunity to build our own Gundam robot and enter various tournaments where we go up against other Gundam robots, and we, uh, figuratively and literally kick their pieces in. And uh, there's also some kind of subplot about some little asshole wanting revenge against another asshole for something that happened in the past. Sex Toys TV. Les sex toys sort en fin de long. Okay, fine. I will just use footage from the trailer. You know, dear viewer, I once had sex with a Gundam robot. But that's a story for another time. So yes, as I was saying, we basically can build our own Gundam using parts obtained by fighting enemies uh, in the game. Now, when we are not participating in the tournament, we are basically trying to uh, become eligible for the tournament, I think, by basically doing one of three of the exact same mission. One of which is uh, basically attacking uh, the enemy's core and defending our own core. Another one is basically just fighting enemies. And another one is uh, smashing up the uh, tablets, the Ten Commandments tablets, I think they are. Uh, they're probably not, but I'm using that for humor purposes. Uh, so yes, there's basically three different mission types. Uh, there are boss battles as well against bigger Gundam robots. And this might be a good time to tell you that I once cheated uh, on a lady Gundam robot with her best friend. Yes. But that's a story for another time. So yes, this game was bags of fun. But I did not think that the story stood up to something like Zone of the Enders, which is my favorite uh, Gundam type video game, Zone of the Enders and the, uh, its sequel from the master Hideo Kojima, or as I now like to call him, the Ghost of Kojima. Because of Ghost of Tsushima, so I call him Ghost of Kojima instead. So yes, this game is a couple of years old. Uh, it's had uh, several DLC expansions, which are exactly the same as the main game. So, what else can I tell you about the game? It's bags of fun. It's uh, a pretty good looking game. Uh, all the voiceovers are in Japanese. Now, I, I, I know, I know, but I, I do like an English voiceover, where possible. But obviously, with a lot of these types of games, that's not going to happen. So, I can accept that. It's fine. It's not a problem. You know, take it for what it is. Absolutely fine. Oh, though, I am now just reminded that actually in the past, I have broken many Gundam robots. Hymans. But that's a story for another time. So, what would I score this game? Well, I am going to give Gundam Breaker 3 a 7. Point 0.4. Point 0.7. Point 0.2. Point 0.5. Point 0.3. Point two, point seven, out of ten. And though this game is called Gundam Breaker, I am the ultimate Gundam Breaker. If you get my drift. 
But uh, that's a story of another time. So, if you liked this review, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me the middle finger. Leave some abuse for me in my comment section. And as always, stay obsessed with gaming. <laughs> Now I'm off to see one of my Gundam robot lady friends. Ooh, she has quite the evening in store for her, and I can tell you that. There's going to be pieces of her everywhere by the time I'm done with her. Oh yes, it'll be like smashing up blocks of Lego. But uh, that's a story for another time. Bye-bye.